I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and welcome to the Boneyard. Now if you're coming into the Boneyard and you're like, I'm not really sure what the Boneyard is, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a review series, but instead of reviewing new phones, I'm reviewing little numbers like this bad boy right here, the Motorola Barrage V860. Now this is a bad little phone, it's got a big honking display, not really, but I like to think so. And it's an older phone and that's what the Boneyard is going to be all about. It's all about the old phones that we remember from 2002 all the way up to about 2009, 2010. Because hey, old phones need some love too, but before I jump in, I'm going to give some love to Best Buy Mobile as well. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you're going to walk out working. So when you get a new phone, or even if you take in this old number like this, they'll help you set up your email, your web, all that good stuff. So when you walk out that door, you're good to go. Let's take a look. Boneyard time. Motorola Barrage V... Barrage. Say that three times fast. Barrage V860. That's a hard one to say, but we're going to dissect it in this little Boneyard review, which starts right now. Would you looky here, this is like a rock. Take a look at this thing. This is a durable piece of foam. This is the Motorola Barrage V860, and it's a bad little mother. You can see here it's from Verizon, and it's packing some awesome little things over here, like some volume rocker buttons. A five, or no, not even a five, a two. Is that a two? Yeah, it's a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. A big whopping two megapixel camera on the front. A 1,170 milliamp hour battery behind this super advanced but, uh, thing here where you can open it up and get behind the battery. It's super advanced like that. I mean, really, seriously, for a, an older phone, that's pretty wild. And you got a flip phone goodness right here. You can see with a nice metal hinge down there, this thing is going to take a tumble and keep on ticking. Now, this thing is 4.2 ounces, so not too heavy in the pocket. You're going to get a little bit of a bulge there, but you can see it's going to be a decent, it's going to be a pretty good bulge. Not too heavy, not too light. It's a decent phone all around. You've got some MP3 buttons up here on the front. You've got back, you've got forge, you've got play and pause. You've got a whopping 1,000 phone book capacity here. So with all your friends, you got plenty of opportunity to have all kinds of friends. If you're like me, at least six of those spots are going to be filled. If you have the 994, well, we'll just have to wait and see who comes around in my life. 6.4 hours of talk time, 534 hours maximum of standby. So this thing has got the goods. EVDO revision A, so you can see up here, 3G data, 1X data, and a battery meter as well. American flag there in the background, because this is an American phone, and that's what it is. It's Motorola American Verizon phone. You can see a nice big display on the outside as well, 262,144 colors on the interior with some nice buttons here that are rubberized so you can get your text on, you can get your call on and have no problem doing any of that in this device. Now, take a look at the Barrage's home screen here and you can see, or in the menu rather, and you can see it's a typical Verizon setup. When we go into contacts, for example, you can see it's got that typical layout where I scroll up here at the top from side to side. You remember the feature phone days on Verizon. It was much like this from 2005 to about 2008. They used that standardized Verizon interface that you see here. And you know, it's a little bit different here. This is a newer device, so you can see they made some tweaks to it, made it a little bit more user friendly. But if we take the Boneyard to the next level and we do something like the Droid Razor, or the actual original Razor, rather, you'll see that it's, uh, it's pretty boring, at least in terms of what it is then, or what it was then versus what it is now. So this is a pretty whopping good device here with Bing search out of the box. You get the media center, so you can search music and tones, picture and video, games, mobile web, browse and download, and do extras on this little number. And then of course you can do pictures with a two megapixel camera. No flash, but that's okay. You just gotta wait for the sun to come out on this bad boy. No problem with that, you know. Outside pictures are where it's at anyway. That's where the party's at. Come on now, guys. My Verizon pre-installed. We've got some other settings and tools here. I said it so fast. I'm so excited. Settings and tools. My Verizon. Sound settings, display settings, phone settings, and you've got your contacts as well. So like I said, you got a big old thousand contact book. Let's do a text message here. We're going to go into the messaging interface and do a new message. And we're going to send a text message to 555-1234. I do have friends, I promise, but... You know, I just can't show those numbers on camera. So we're going to say something like, hey there, this is a P-H-M-N-O-N-E, phone parte. Now I'm going to add the Y at the end, the A-Y. Instead of the P-A-R-T-Y, I'm going to throw in an A in there just for added effect and make it look really, really bad, like a bad mamma jamma. So hey there, this is a phone party. All done, and as soon as I send that, 
I've got a nice little exterior screen on here, so when my friends write me back and my phone's blowing up, uh, Kesha style, you can see here that it's gonna be outside and I can see those text messages. So pretty whopping cool device, throw it down, literally. And you can see menu here. Let's take a look at the camera. We're gonna do a camera test on this bad boy as well. So we're gonna go in here as soon as I can find it. My pictures, let's go back and do, got some car pictures in there. Looks like I've had this device around for way too long. And then we'll go in here to Media Center. That's where it is. Picture and video. We're gonna get new, you know, we're gonna take a picture. That is buried down there and there in the interface, but that's probably a good thing, right? Because when you're drunk and you're trying to send those crazy pictures, you gotta bury it down into the menu so it takes you too long to find it and you get bored and then throw your phone out of anger, right? Right, see Verizon was looking out for you. And let's go in here and take a picture. We'll use this little piece of garbage here, you know what I mean? Cause come on, smartphones aren't very, who needs smartphones? So we're gonna say Galaxy Note, and we're gonna come in here, and you can see a bad two megapixel camera. I actually like this phone a lot, but hey, you know what? This is the boneyard. We don't talk about smartphones in the boneyard. And then you can see Galaxy Note right there with that two megapixel camera. It's gonna be a bad, bad picture. And when I say bad, I mean like how the kids say it. Bad is in like sig nasty, so good. It's gonna be a good picture. So that's the boneyard, the barrage, the bleh, say that three times fast, barrage. V860 Motorola flip phone. It's pretty cool. It can withstand a fall and it's got a cool interface that you can't send pictures while you're drunk because they take too long to get to and by that time you're probably bored and you're throwing the phone down. So keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for more coverage of the barrage in the Boneyard and stay tuned for more in the Boneyard series. If you like what you see, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. Hit me up on the Twitters too, phone dog underscore Aaron and on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash phone dog AB. Till next time, I'm Aaron and the Boneyard will go on.